It's Friday night. You know what time it is. Sports Panorama. We are live. Benjamin and Katie are here. The show proudly brought to us by Betway and Good Day Energy Drink. This weekend, all the action day Betway, Charlie. Place a home win or an away win bet. Listen again. Place a home win or an away win bet, including all the mentioned games, in your multi bet to qualify for a 100% payout boost of up to 200 Ghana cities as a free bet on your first winning bet slip. The games. La Liga, we have El Clasico, it's Real Madrid Barcelona, EPL, it's Liverpool Manchester City, Ligue 1, it's PSG versus Marseille, Charlie, it's a derby weekend indeed. And then remember, you can deposit cash, no charges, only on top up. Visit www.betway.com.gh, click on top up to know more about your nearest vendor. Better way for the love of the game. The rabbi is here. He said a few things last weekend about how certain administrators need to put on their jerseys this weekend. We are in the mood again. The injunction is here. Mbappe is trying to force his way out of PSG. United take on Newcastle, Liverpool, Manchester City. Rabbi, commit us, please. Name a granting or granting or oh, Charlie. Mean if you no more granting. Oh, no more granting. Eh, Charlie, come by. You no more bad, no more bad. The man be no more what we. What can we not say? One name, one name, one name. What can you was zip out? What beko one double she oh. What about the more belly na? No what can belly more da? No how what dream what can nilly? No what fun what be ame. I can be a top striker. Oh, Bani Bane. What can be a boo? Yeah, yes, I can be a ba a boo. Ba a boo. Don't I? Me feed that. Pass is a bad jet. Ba slam, slam, slam. Ayele. One chin no more in 30 minutes and no more watch it. Bellaman, what me wale? What has by qualified you call for you a friend, Modi? Mbappe and in Lele Naka eta ne shi lo Alo e hame kume minche na gbe e neg bila Minche e na gbe e nevi neg bila wafin o bakwe Ewo mebe aba atwa bo ye gana Ewo ye uwa Mebe aba atwa bo ye gana e Mebe aba atwa bo ye gana Ake mebe Premier League achi e toko To be ne e kwe adonko yue e Be ke njen chen valet e fono Injunction ballot, no, no, I can't forgive you. Eh, he bought it. Wow, okay, we're many years old. Boy, what now? No, 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 Zero five four nine nine eight six nine nine six, and it's a road show weekend as well. Yeah, let me just lay that down for you. It's a road show at the Honeysuckle Sports Bar, Pub and Restaurant. Yeah, there are plenty honeysuckles, but this one is the Osu Branch. Don't confuse the Osu Branch with the Laboni Branch. They are two different places. Osu, opposite the fire service and the police headquarters. That's the one I'm talking about. Ringway. That's where the roadshow is at. Let's get right into it. So earlier today, the GFA were in court with the uh, with Ash Gold um, to sort out their differences. Remember that there's an injunction as we speak on the Bet Power Ghana Premier League. Uh, Ash Gold have raised certain concerns, and um, the GFA also appeared in court to answer uh, to their own issues. Now, what we know is that there has been an adjournment to the 20th of October. And so that's how things are at this point. Evans Ofochu Mansu Pichichi. Was one chichi. One, <laughs> two chichis. Three. Three chichis. Oh, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. Pichichi was on the ground. 
Chichi, be ayo ko chichi chichi. Ah, chale. Chale. Ayo ko chichi chichi. Chale, you you were in court today. First of all, um, what what is at hand? I mean, what what is the bone of contention, and why are we having to wait again till the twentieth of October before we we will find out even if the league will be allowed to resume? Because we don't know after that. We don't know what decision the court is the court is taking, but what happened in court today? What do you have to so say? So the main the main issue is that Ashanti Gold believed that they were given an unfair hearing, and that's a verdict from the GFADC. Mm-hmm. We saw them being demoted to the Division Two. They believe that that verdict was not fair. They weren't given a fair hearing, so they went for an appeal. We know that they lost the appeal as well, and uh, the next step would have been Cass, but they skipped that one and went to the Human Rights Court. And so it started with an injunction, mm-hmm. an interlocutory injunction, which uh, from the lawyers of Ashanti Gold, they filed on the 28th of September. So from that date, then it was prudent that they meet today in court mm-hmm. so that they can iron out their differences. So around 9 a.m. or half past 9 a.m., we are at the Human Rights Court um, in Accra, which is um, around the Supreme Court building. And uh, the judge of the case was uh, Judge Barbara Tete. Chawe, mm. interestingly, for Ashanti Gold, they were, they had their lawyer uh, to be Edward Sam Crab, with uh, Na Odufole, um, Norte being the lawyer for the GFA, and those in the football circles remember Na him. Odufole, Odufole Norte. Na Odufole, Norte. Yeah. The, Na, great one. the great one. The great one. The Na Gucci. Oh, Charlie. Hey, Na no, Gucci. Don't mention the name again. Na Gucci. Thank you very much. No, Gucci. Na, Gucci. Na, Na, Gucci. Na, Gucci. Na, Gucci. Thank you. Go on, Peter. So she was the lawyer for the GFA. So it started with um, the court making sure that at least all the parties had a rep. And so they asked Ashanti Gold, who was their rep? And then they had their CEO, Dr. Kweku Frimpon, a.k.a. champion. Kweku Frimpon. Champion. Mm. So he was there for Ashanti Gold. And for the junior gym, champion was not there. No, the junior champion was not there. <laughs> it's good, it's good. <laughs> but it was the main champion. <laughs> for the GFA also, they had um, the general secretary lawyer, uh, Prosper Resonado. There there was Nana Odro Safo, Kingsley Osebon, so the executive uh, council, and also... Uh, Marian Sewa Mensa Queen, who is the GFA director of legal and dire- um, yes, director of legal and prosecutor. So they were there for the GFA. She's as newly well. appointed, exactly. I believe. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's Spiky sister. Oh, yeah. Yeah. interesting. Yeah. Spiky so interesting. it started with the actual lawyer. Spiky, so, yeah, big one there, saying that they were, well, they filed uh, an injunction on September 28 and received an affidavit in opposition from the GFA on October 4, and so subsequently they filed a supplementary affidavit. That was yesterday, October 13, mm-hmm. to address the concerns raised by the GFA. And then the judge said, see, I don't have a copy of that affidavit. Yeah. yeah, so both lawyers said they had a copy, so they had to try to proceed. Then the GFA lawyer now fully raised a concern that, uh, which is which I was told means the, that's the preliminary objection against that supplementary affidavit, indicating that the Ash Gold law, legal team did not, uh, what, ought to seek the leave of the court to file that supplementary affidavit. And that's what they are doing is irregular. And so she urged the judge to set it aside. And then the Ash Gold lawyers also had to counter and argue that before you can also raise that objection, mm-hmm. the GFA lawyers ought to inform them first and not to catch them off guard and all that. So they also pray that the court also squash that initial objection as well. And so the judge was like, see, both parties have erred in the application of the law. So the supplementary affidavit is mm-hmm. set aside and so if there's no affidavit, then there's no initial objection as well. Mm-hmm. Now, the judge was like, okay, she has to be quite fair for Ashanti Go to file that supplementary affidavit. So on Monday, which is October 17, yeah. they are to file a motion to seek leave to file the supplementary affidavit. So that's what they'll be doing on Monday. They're not, they're not going to sit on the case on Monday, but they're going to file what I'm told is a motion to seek leave to file supplementary affidavits, meaning that they want permission mm-hmm. from the court yeah. to file that supplementary affidavits. Then on Thursday, September, uh, October 20, both parties will meet in court mm-hmm. to then hear that application from Ashanti Gold to file the supplementary affidavits case. Mm. And then... Okay. <laughs> you know you know what's going on here? Uh, legally. 
plenty legalists, but all I can tell you is that our league is not starting anytime soon. <laughs> that, that, that is what this looks like because this looks like further delays. I, I'm bringing in Selom Adonu to explain, explain a few, a few of the that, legal ah. terms for us um, if he's around, just so we can get some clarity to what's going on. But just conclude. So, so in, in conclusion, Ash Gold want more time mm-hmm. to file mo- an additional document. The GFA believe that no. They need to get into the main uh, issue of the injunction on the league because at the moment the league is also on hold. I should go that saying simple. Let's hold on to the league mm-hmm. and then address our issues first. The GFA says no. Try to allow the league to resume and then we can address your issue. So this is the back and forth of what they, have, they are on. And then so next test they will be in court as well to see whether the, G, uh, the GFA mm-hmm. and Ash Gold issue will proceed to the injunction case or there will be that um, request to grant Ash Gold the permission to file that that supplementary affidavit. Mm. Now, for, for those of you who are wondering why Ashgold are in court, now their owners, um, Dr. Kweku Fimpo, like uh, Pichichi just mentioned, um, he and CEO of the yeah. club, that's his son, Emmanuel Frimpon, they received 10 and 8-year bans respectively. So that's a long time. Um, they they also received monetary fines as well. I believe 100000 and um, uh, 500000 I think, Um 50,000 and 100,000, I believe. So that's what happened. They don't seem too happy. They think that something can be done about their situation. They, they, are, they are not willing to go quietly. So that's what's going on. Exactly. At this and and mean, today, you could see that they were very calm. It was quite w- w- too... What did, what did counsel for Asgold say after the hearing? I mean, what what is their disposition to this whole situation? Are they confident that they will come out of this victorious? Are they... Um, apprehensive, like what, what? What was their demeanor? I mean, well, what, clearly what you, you could see watching? a team that is confident in their case. They believe that they have a good case. All they want is a fair hearing, yeah. and so they believe that their next step will be to file the supplementary affidavit. So they are confident that they, they they are taking the right measures to make sure that the court hears them out and eventually win their case. So whilst they were quite confident, you could see the GFA team quite disappointed. Yes, disappointed. They, they, yeah, exactly. they thought that the injunction would be lifted exactly. so the league could resume. I was trying to get a reaction from uh, Prosper Ronaldo. You could clearly see the frustration. And he kept saying that this this is a, 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 a side that wants to frustrate them, wants to proceed with their issues and all that. But clearly mm. you could see that the GF are not happy. They want, at least, the league restarted whilst mm. the case is addressed later. Mm. But that's not the case. Mm. So that's um, the initial word on this one so far. We'll just get some explanation to a few of the things that have been said and then we'll move it on. Let me read a few of your messages that have come in so far. Um, a lot of people saying a lot of things. Ha- um, hi guys, tell coach he should not worry that he should not worry that ball playing Odotoy and Akambi Lewandowski will do the business for hearts. AB, AB from Dan Soman. Charlie, say what? No, go up, let me say, say what? Ball playing what? Odotoy. Hmm, Charlie, it will be shiny. This one says, Barca is likely to suffer defeat when playing an opponent with sharp midfielders and attackers. Just like me. Limit your expectations to avoid disappointment. This team has great potential, but not that convincing as it seems to be portrayed. It's going to take a little more time. Um, Dr. SS with that one. Uh, this one here says, uh, good evening, bosses. So this Nigeria keeper is 23. Hey! Then Daniel Kranzing be 17 years. Quick. Leave my name out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, is it because of this, I will now buy watches seven CDs. Shit on Kwan, then go drink water for house. Thanks, <laughs> Sports Panorama crew. Really appreciate you guys. God bless you. I wish you uh wish to be on the show one day. Come to the road show on Sunday. Yes. Come come to Honey Circle on Sunday. Yes. This one is from Teddy from Ho. He says, Good evening, guys. Nice show uh from you guys. I predicted a win for Newcastle. Special good evening to DK. And your crown Italy, your fans plenty of ho. Teddy from Ho. A win for Newcastle. You are not my friend. <laughs> Tali, big shout outs to the people in Ho. Um, oh, this yeah. one here. Ho is a nice place. Tali, who is this Yao Minta from Kokro Bitea? Yao Minta, if it's you, just come and confess. <laughs> You've been sending ah, messages Tali. from your banner account. <laughs> <laughs> Yao Minta from Kokro Bitea says that, please don't forget about the Champions League and the struggles of Hijack FC. They haven't seen anything yet. Good luck to my daddy club, Chelsea, on Sunday. Um, more messages coming through. 
Um, this one also says that um, good evening, my best sports show in the whole world. Again, is Klopp still at post? <laughs> See, let me tell you, big shout outs to Lipu Mama. Lipu Mama. Lipu, Lipu Mama. I, I want to tell you something. Please send us this message every, every single Friday. Ask until the man gets fired. Is Klopp still at post? He's at post. See, the way is he's looking at me like he can't. So tell me. Now time feel. Time minutes. Seven years. Hey, you get seven years, you don't want to watch time again. Charlie, don't do that. Seven years, it don't give you for what you look for. One cup. Nana jai. One of each cup. Oh. One, one cup of Nana jai. six over seven. Nana jai. Yeah. Farouk Headliner says good. one week, three major injuries to key players. What at all cry is this? I just don't understand. Can't they Reese and Fofana out until next year potentially? Pogba, we beg. <laughs> 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 I don't know how Pogba is debated here. Kulusevsky says when the miracle of Elwak happened, I wasn't born. Champion striker Akambi. Please let me experience <laughs> the miracle <laughs> of Accra Hasso. <laughs> champion business. striker Akambi. See, ball playing Odote. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Look, the assist on Sunday over. Oh, 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 Charlie. Oh, looking. Take a look. Take a look. This one is from Nimli Opete from Ableko Machai. We don't, we, don't, we don't like this name on the show. <laughs> better behave yourself. You see? Oh, Yesu, allow Liverpool to chop Woto Woto this Sunday. As for Barca, Europa is calling them. I think United should focus, um, should go for Francis Ozoho or continually you say what? Charlie, you be too much. Hmm. Interesting thoughts there. That's why here say, Charlie, the league, dear, if we don't take care, unless after World Cup, we'll go back formation, 3-5-2 from Danfa. Hey, your name be Gobe Formation. 352 from Danfa. Wait, what does it mean? Is it being three CDs? I, 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 have, five CDs? I, have, I, have, I, have, I have no idea. So back to the uh, Asgold GFA issues. Um, our in-house counsel is here. Salam, I don't know. Is here. Salam, we don't typically have you on Panorama. Welcome oh, to the show. So, oh, oh, Charlie, I think it's the second time I appear. One bell for counsel. Oh, oh, Charlie. No more counsel. No oh, session. No fail. Oh, Charlie. So basically, we're we trying to understand what it means, uh, what a supplementary affidavit is. Because we know that Asgold are trying, one, to um, get the the courts to one do away with the fines and also probably reinstate them in the league they brought an an extra affidavit or a supplementary affidavit the gfa were not having it the judge wasn't having it either has asked them to come back on october um 20th what exactly is this supplementary affidavit when, when well, it comes so to this? um so I'm sure what, what they were seeing, of course, I'm, I, mean, I don't know the facts of, of the, the case. case yeah. So I'm, I'm just dealing with the procedural yeah. issues. Yeah. So when you have a substantive matter in court, mm -hmm. and I'm sure the substantive matter will be the issue between Ashgo yeah. and the GFA yeah. regarding their suspension. Yeah, their demotion. Their demotion, demotion yeah. from the league, etc., etc. So that is a substantive matter mm -hmm. they have in court. But when you have a substantive matter in court, mm -hmm. there is what we call, um, there are some interlocutory issues that, you can deal with as well, like matters you can deal with in the meantime, okay. whilst you await the determination of the real matter. So in this case, maybe I don't know what reliefs they were seeking in the substantive matter, but I'm sure one of them will be a declaration that the decision was arbitrary, etc. And so that decision should be reversed. Mm -hmm. But the matter must travel its full length and its okay. full course. Okay. It may take a while. It may take months. It may take weeks, months, even years. Mm. So. What happens is that if you leave the matter to travel its course yeah. without any intervening, you know, actions from the part of the plaintiff, mm. the matter will travel to the end, and your suit in the end may, may be useless if you if you won. Oh. So, for example, if the matter travels for a year, mm -hmm. Asgood wants to be restored to the league. Yeah. If it travels a year, the league would have been played and ended. Yeah. So, they are being in court would have been useless, mm. or it would have been rendered utios. So, what happens is that you come in with you know, an interlocutory injunction, for example, 
to halt the the the, the, the league yeah. in the meantime, whilst the court hears the matter. Mm -hmm. And you argue that you will suffer irreparable loss in this matter. Mm -hmm. Loss that cannot be repaired because if you don't play the league, yeah. you will lose big time. And maybe that loss, you may argue, is irreparable. So the court will have to look at it and weigh it against what the other party to will present. So the court will look at it, weigh it, and make a determination. Mm -hmm. And that determination could be that they will grant you the injunction. Yeah. And that will mean that the league will be suspended until the matter is fully you know, determined. Or the court will say, no, uh, you don't suffer a lot of loss. Yeah. Or compared to what you will lose, the, 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 the larger majority will lose yeah. more. So the league should continue whilst we fast track the matter. Okay. You know, so that's where we are. Mm. So you come with emotion. So the, the motion is how you come. You come with emotion. But in this case, the motion must be supported with an affidavit. An affidavit is just a sworn statement, you know, put in writing. So you swear to it that this is why this is my truth yeah, and this, this is, is my truth. case. These are the facts. Okay. This is my case. Or this is these are the issues. You swear to it yeah. and then you bring it to court. So you your lawyer will, or you will argue based on the facts you've stated in your affidavit. Mm -hmm. When you swear the affidavit, so that's an affidavit in support of yeah. your motion. Yeah. The other side can file what we call an affidavit in opposition. Okay. Mm. So the other side files an affidavit in opposition because that's what the other side will rely on when you come to court. In fact, there are some instances mm -hmm. the, the, the judge will just look at the two affidavits and then make a determination. But most often, yeah. after you file your affidavits, mm -hmm. I mean, both sides, you will have to mm -hmm. argue your case mm -hmm. and the judge will, will decide on the matter. Mm -hmm. So when I file an affidavit, mm -hmm. it could be in support or in opposition. Okay. If I think there is something else I want to add, mm -hmm. then I will come and file a supplementary affidavit to the original one I filed. So the supplementary is an extra... You know, this is like me saying that this is my initial case, mm -hmm. but upon studying my case, I feel like I have extra ammunition exactly. to back exactly. my matter. So and I'm often it this. comes as a result of maybe you 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 didn't anticipate that the, a certain point you made mm -hmm. will be taken so seriously or become a big deal. So you did not delve into it so much. The other side goes into it, mm -hmm. you know, details it and yeah. puts it in a way that makes yours look very small. So you, yeah. can, you can come and say that, no, I want to file a supplementary mm -hmm. affidavit to yeah. bolster my, my points. Sometimes we just file it and the court takes it. Other times, some judges will insist that you come, you seek leave of the yeah. court. Leave of the court means permission. Yeah. You seek permission of the court before you file it. So when you file, you seek, you, you, so you, you seek permission, yeah. the other side can oppose it that, no, the court shouldn't give you this permission because of A, B, and C reasons. Maybe you it's a waste time, you are sleeping on the job. I mean, a lot of reasons. Mm -hmm. The court will have to decide on that. So when the court now makes the determination that, no, you should file it, yeah. then you now have to go and file it before you come back and argue the case. You know, the, the, so the, the, so from, from what I'm understanding, so on the 20th, it's likely that the court will be sitting on this new affidavit that has been filed. Or okay, they will so, be, so again, yeah. I, I don't really know the facts. Mm -hmm. But so what did the court tell them today? Or well, the court told them that they, they, they need to come back yeah. on the 20th. Mm -hmm. to do what? Yes. Yes. So on the 20th, mm -hmm. they, they're going to sit on that supplementary affidavit, whether it should be granted or rejected. Okay, so yeah. on the 20th, mm -hmm. it means that the other side wanting to file the supplementary affidavit will now come and seek leave of the court. And in seeking leave, it must justify why the court must allow them to yeah. file the supplementary. Yeah. So the other side will also oppose it and say, no, they don't have to file the supplementary. Because they have That's all what the, the GFA literally did. Yeah. Yeah. They have all the time in the world to do so. They are doing so, we'll just delay the case. And GFA will not want the matter delayed because, you know, they, they have a league to play and things like that. So they want to fast track it. These other guys want their case busted so they can, they, they can succeed in placing an injunction on the league, you know. So the, the court will decide on Monday, I mean, on the 20th, 20th yeah. whether yeah. the supplementary should be filed or not. If the court agrees that the supplementary should be filed, then now they will go and file it and come back and, and, and argue on the, the, the motion the injunction application. Mm. If the court says, no, you don't need to file it, then the court will now give them a date to come back and argue on so, the motion. So, so as things stand now, it looks like the matter okay. won't be determined on the 20th. 20th will not be enough to determine whether the Ashgold injunction should hold or not. Yeah, so from the facts you're telling me, mm -hmm. because the court will have to make a decision mm -hmm. whether they should file the supplementary or not. Okay. They have to secure the leave mm -hmm. or permission of the court okay. to file that. So if that is the case, mm -hmm. then they will have to take leave of the court 
go and file it, take edit, and come, come back, back. Mm. to argue the application mm. proper. You know. And then all of mm. this will be so all of this will have to get out of the way, <laughs> the way. before the hearing on the injunction on, on is the, done. On the injunction is done. So it is it all this is in preparation for, for the injunction actual, application. Yeah, so they must hear the injunction application. Yeah. Once they hear that the court can give a bench ruling, can sit there and say so your injunction has been thrown yeah, out. Or the or court can say, uh, given the arguments you have, you have injunction advanced, sustained. I, I need to go and, and 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 give a proper ruling. Okay. Give a considered ruling. So the case the judge will adjourn, come back at another day. But usually they'll give a bench ruling. Yeah. Mm. Thank you very much, Selom Adonu. Uh, so Selom, yes, PTC. So, a quick one, uh, Selom. How many times can you file for this motion to add? your document, this supplementary affidavit. How many no, times it, it, during the case? Is, are there, no, is there no, a limit? You, no, you, you can do so many times. I mean, when the Anytime case... Anytime you feel like you want... No, no, you no want... It, it depends. So injunction is one. Mm -hmm. You can come with something else. There, there are many motions you can file in a case. Okay. There are many, many motions you can file in a case. You can file a motion to, to ask for further and better particulars. You can file a motion... You can file a motion to do many things. Hmm. Once that will inure to your benefit, the law allows you to do that. The law doesn't hold you back at all. Once it's your case, mm. you do whatever you have to do to win. But of course, the court will also be minded. The rules allow for speedy trial. So okay. the court will also, you know, take into consideration other things. Like the league, ensure, people losing yes, money. So to ensure that yeah. the matter travels very fast. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Salam Adonu coming through with some clarity on the matter. Looks from the little explanation we've gotten that this could travel at least you know, another two I, more I weeks. I always say that when when you introduce legal things into th this matter, once the court has come in and we've gone here, we should know that as for seeing football, there it will take a while because they'll need to clear all these little legal hurdles and do this. That's legal why the FA wanted us go to go yes, to cast instead. You understand? Yeah. Because they knew that dance. Because once you get into a conventional court, this is the danger. We'll keep having these stoppages like we have in football. Stoppages until we get to the main matter. Mm -hmm. Then, I, I don't know. But like you said, if those who want to see Ghana Premier League football, we beg you, it will take a little while. So, you know, yeah. Mm. <laughs> so that's the word so far on the matter. Let's get to Akambi FC. Um, Hearts of Folk will be up against AS Real Bamako this Sunday. They need to overturn a three-goal deficit. David Oklu says that just like the Malians score three in their backyard, they are capable of getting three in theirs and probably even extra. That's the case facing us right now. Coach, let me throw this to you really quickly. Just quick thoughts on um, the, the Sunday game. You, you think that Hearts of Folk have enough in the tank to turn this around? Because like he's saying, if they can score three, we can score three as well. You see, it is easier said than done. Oklu me na me te ma no me wa me wo ye je me. You can't say that. I'm he, telling he, was, you he was coaching on the touchline. Ah. He was on the touchline giving instructions. The question to him is this. If if the first leg was played here in Accra, and that's a folk won 3-0, and that's a folk were to go to Mali, would they go and get booted out of the tournament in Mali? You see, it's football. Anything is possible. Mm -hmm. But you need to be real with the issues because on that day, it is not ways and means. So, like they are beginning to talk about Rosalinda and Esmeralda flowers behind the ears. Me, ah, me too. I need to be in a confusion. Me, na, na, me na, get confused. I need to be in a confusion. They have Esmeralda flowers behind their ears. Me too. Oh, na, na, mo. Oh, me no go, no. Made of honor things. I need to be in a confusion. Get my money. I need to walk on it. I need to be. You see, the fact of the matter is simple. It's about it's, it is football that you are going to play. Football is on the pitch. Yeah. That is what matters. What are they going to do on the pitch? You sack a coach, you shouldn't sack. You have people doing selection who are not coaches and telling. Or clue what he should be doing and what he shouldn't be doing. Mm -hmm. You have a team who hasn't kept a clean sheet yet. In every competitive game they have played this season, yeah. they haven't kept a clean sheet. They've not scored even two goals in a single game before. Hmm. In every game they have played this season. Everything is being done by heart. Basa. Basa. All over the places. I have prescribed the solution. Mm. 
and I'll repeat it here. Give us the solution. It's a no. very simple solution. There are three spaces that we need to fill quick. And that solves the problem. The head coach, mm -hmm. because the team, there's no. Ah, Grant team has. Do they have a head coach? No, please. Oh. That position needs to be filled. They don't have a head coach. And as I've said, seven, as if you have a board member, go from one radio station to another, yes. condemning a coach who is giving you five trophies in 18 months. Doesn't see anything good that, that the coach is done. It's very simple. That board member is now the head coach. Mm, simple. I'm referring to Dr. Nyawotamaku. <laughs> I've not said anything that, he's, that he didn't say. I'm repeating myself. Legend like head coach on Sunday. Quick. You mean? Tactical Nyaho. No more. Oba wo. Onapo. Combination of Toto Alote and oh, Pep Guardiola <laughs> Kum. Jogging <laughs> club. <laughs> you mean combining philosophies? Ah, Pep Yabeku. Toto ye nine ye nine drum. Kum. Kum club. Jogging club in the middle. I'm the normal. Oh, it's a left ye echi mo. Left echi, right echi, middle echi. Ye come at me ana. Quick. You understand? That is the first solution to the problem. Yahoo has head coach. Yahoo has head coach. Yes. Solution number two. Solution number two. Let's go. No more honorable Odote. Oh, Charlie. Oh, but I walk. Ball playing Odote. Javi like sort of midfield. On looking passes. Quick. Javi con Ronaldinho. Oh, but I walk. Like I said, the passes will have to be sublime. For looking. Silky passes. Silky don't you know. Then I can in a drone and my pass a can you have a cool on looking on looking passes. No, I need to on your strike and a joke land tier now. Seke here, te fem bamo, a bamo here, a bamo say. You mean langa langa? Oh, no more Lewandowski. I can be oh, I can't be Lewandowski. The top most striker. I'm saying it here, I will not take it back. And the fact of the matter is. Three penetrating passes mm -hmm. under the tutelage and direction of the head coach, Dr. Tomako. And then Odote, no more. I can't be sra, sra, sra. Ayele, the minutes. quickest Ayele in the history of Accra as a folk. In 30 minutes, they will have to finish the job. Mm. And then in the second half, mm. with 15 minutes to go, after the Malians had struggled and struggled, the icing on the cake. Set piece specialist, midfield general, Odote. <laughs> Okay. Midfield general. Delicious. That is the solution to the problem. I'm telling you today. Because <laughs> they have never knew how on earth could you mm -hmm. run this team the way it has been run and believe that you deserve to be. Ah, is there a team in the Champions League or comfortable <laughs> without a head coach? <laughs> Do you have one like that? Not that we so they need a head coach. And I've given them one. I've, and Jeff Paco, you are going to lobby and going to do, do, and do. The head coach is right in front of you. Just change his position. Yeah. Give the job to him. Everything about House of Oak is... Uh, <laughs> and they are hoping, they are charging their supporters. Yeah. They are getting everybody on board. Yeah. The harm is already done, oh. So that is the, the simple question I'm asking is this. If they were to uh, host, if the first leg were to be playing Ghana, mm -hmm. and they won 3-0, three... yeah. do they sincerely think that this Malian team will eliminate them in the second leg in Bamako? So it is not about wabawame, wabawame, wabawame. Awo nyomo, awo wamo, wamo, awo wamo, wamo, no, 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 they have destroyed they everything. Have destroyed everything. Ah, now they can lose comfortably. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I spoke to one of the top most hearts of folk supporter today, and he was like, "No more." No, no, no. We have oh. no oh, qualifying. Why are you qualifying? Why are you qualifying to? Why do you want they to want, qualify? They want to get. They want to get to the next round so they can. See that. And it was shocking. At least they qualify to the next round. That is the explanation I was going to say. What are you serious? I cannot mention the support. It would be so fair on his part for me to have to for me to. But the fact of the supporters 
are charging themselves to go and rally behind the team because they don't want to exit the tournament at the prelims. This is the prelims. Of course, first match. Prelims, that's why. Prelims. Prelims. You don't want to exit. <laughs> you ex in fact, you've already exited. Mm -hmm. Because this team, no clean sheet. No. <laughs> Me a real war. Dada don't. That I don't hey, no I can don't, leg leg leg. don't mind the age. Forget <laughs> about the age. In a me. In they, a me. They themselves, they are no coaches. They are no coaches. They are not real coaches. <laughs> they are not real coaches. <laughs> this is a game for that that don't and chastel don't, and cold. Don't. Three nay. We all go to the stage because we know that at the end of the 90 minutes, it is 5 0. But, have, if it was there, you'd have said, What can I be no But it is not embedded in the DNA of this current team. Oklu, did Oklu have been a coach? On Amegbe and Akeke, no more. You see, they are just worrying the match. Oklu said himself, "I'm shocked that he took up the the, the coaching role." Okay. No, he's, he's been he's been very buoyant this and week. He's been talking big. Yeah, this week he, he like, says it's no match. It's no match. You know, you know what he, 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 he says. He says no. Hold on. He says Ghana is a footballing nation. Nation. Now what three? <laughs> it was away from home, please. So, uh, now if we're playing basketball there, like, how much we go collect? Oklu. Look, if I was the one coaching the team, I wouldn't talk like the way he's talking. Mm. I would have kept quiet and work very high and ask the supporters to come and support the team. I mean, so, let your work do the talking. Simple as that. Because, look, it's not a view if we don't get the first, if Akambi Lewandowski doesn't get the first goal Charlie, in 15 minutes, Akambi Lewandowski, there will be problem. Oh, Charlie. There will be absolute problem. And, and Andrea Odote. Oh, no more. Obawo. <laughs> Obawo. Or looking passes Obawo. from Andrea Odote. Mezut. Oh, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. Now, can passes. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Look, we can go on and better. The only the thing I'm telling them mm. is this. They've got pride. Yeah. They've got honor. Mm. If this team fails to qualify, mm. the pride in them should lead them to humbly go and tell the great king, to go after them. Won't do a gift. A Jumano yin to me, you. A Jumano is A Jumano is see. He cast. He cast. He can't finish. He don't finish now. He don't do. He don't do. I mean, me. Many new ideas because you've been there for over 12 years now. New the only ideas. man who brought you proper trophy. No. You said he's not good enough mm. for Africa, but Oklu is good enough he's for good. Africa. He's good. 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 He's from Serbia. Akeba. No, wait. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. The new incoming coach is from, from Serbia. Serbia. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's Serbia. Serbia. Ah, okay. Matches. No, no comment. Look, I'm making a humble appeal to Tobi Afede. Manche, mia manche. Wonche mm. boy. You mean the great, the great king? Wonche boy. And then you be a shell, a former shell, a ban. Former shell, a because we are in the the baby's head is in between and it's coming out. It's coming out. Yeah. <laughs> and we are pleading with you. If this management fails to qualify on Sunday, please let us see their back. Bye bye. What can I hear? What what now I say? What now I say? I want to be. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Quick. Otilo. Oh yeah. Otilo. Quick. I can be. Otilo. Quick. Odate. Otilo. Quick. 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 Otilo. Quick. Quick. <laughs> I'm a yak again. No, yeah, Joe. No more. It's to one. It's to all. Oh, I mean, I feel one. Is this a class of Is this a class of food? Come on, give us begging. a break. See, we are begging. They were begging the great king. <laughs> We've had enough. The supporters are saying that they've had enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Take it anymore. They should give us a break on this matter. A team that is not wealthy that fires a coach literally every year or every other year. year. Can you imagine? Look, look if I, I'll, I'll tell you something, right? Look. And I don't even need to go and look at any stats board. There's no need. If you, if you remove... I'm sure, uh, if you I'm remove, sure since what? I'm sure since... See, only since only Chelsea since. and Real Madrid fire more coaches than Hearts of Oak. Yes. I'm telling you. Maybe Kotoko. Mm. Hearts of Oak fires no, more Hearts coaches of Oak than, fires than Chelsea and Real Madrid. Yes, that's crazy.
Ah, they had. No, what is this? Some Israeli guy. Then uh, can you see Aswasi? Oh, Nanai has why is it? Charlie, and the, bring no, back Kenny. Just to bring an end to the matter, mm. we are begging. If they should honorably, they should do their honorable thing and say goodbye. Look, what Nanya Wanae, we've seen what you can do. Nothing will change. It's the same Dukadaya. Noko noko chake. Nye yanu wa yajo wo. Chwa, chwa. Chwa no manya bla wo. Ow, Charlie. Nye yanu wa kwa anise. Hey, Chichi, you have the last word on this because you will be at the stadium to witness Charlie, before, what you go before on. Before mm. Chichi will talk, mm. let me ask you a question. Quick one. If you see, uh, let's say Liverpool have sacked up mm -hmm. and they say Daniel Faka is going to take <laughs> them. Charlie, why are you doing this? No, it's it's what House of Folk is doing with Oklu. That's what House of Folk is doing with Oklu. That's the best scenario. That is what House of Folk is doing with Oklu. That is such a wild analogy. No, it's true. It's the best. Daniel Faka, relegation master, Norwich City. It can it can How many it can times he oh, them two times? Two times, they sacked him. Then now, Liverpool will say that come and replace Klopp. How? He said Klopp is not good, good enough, enough for the Champions League. So Daniel Farka, come and replace Klopp. No. Relegation expert. Oklu. Pichichi, well, what, are, what, what do you want to see from Hasselfolk on Sunday? What do you want to see? Well, uh, obviously they'll not qualify. I think we all know that. You are sure about oh, this? Oh, yeah, they'll no, not qualify. Oh, oh, they'll not qualify. That one. I think they, 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 they existed Africa. Ne the moment, never say never. Oh. See, oh. House of Folk crashed out of Africa. The moment they typed some of the sack letter. Yes. The moment that letter oh. was ready, they were out of Africa. As simple as that. Mm. The mistakes have been done. I think what, what they can do is just compensate their fans with some good football and a win. I think they can win the game. I forgot good. about mm. See, the player they are depending on. Mm -hmm. Banye. <laughs> but where is the running to Mark Master? The running to Mark Master. No? The guy they waited for three months for, to, to, to finish relieving himself of his running to Mark. He's on a heavy salary. PG, you learn for me. Yeah, so quick one. I think that they need to compensate their fans who must. I think Haas must win this game. They might not qualify, but. They can win this game. I think I've watched the Bamako team. Yes, they were good on home soil, but has folk equally a solid across Paul Stadium. So I'm expecting has folk to win. It could be a slim. But you don't think they can they can they no, can overturn that deficit. See, the last time this happened was in 2006, during that when they first half yeah. place against St. George. Don Bote has said. Scott two goals. Yeah, Yambo Biom from the Ethiopians, and I don't yeah. think another Yambo Biom will happen again yeah. uh, on, on Sunday. This is a good Bamako team that can withstand. And defend the three goals. Malian teams yeah. are resilient. Exactly. If there's one thing they, they are, yeah, <laughs> it's so resilient. They may, they may concede, but I don't think they will, they will concede four goals and, and, and be exit. I think even if, if as of all want to force the game to penalties, they have to score three unanswered goals. Mm -hmm. And with, with, with no Ghana Premier League to give them a proper preparation, another big issue. Here yep. they are playing against. And half of all can't keep a clean sheet either. That's another exactly. problem. And they, they, they are they, very wobbly at the back. Even how they prepared for this game against Gap Soccer Academy. So the whole scenario is. Poor preparations, poor planning. It's like a team that is just willing to just leave Africa. They are, I think it's it's almost as if they are deliberately yeah. trying to, to get to, kicked yeah. out. Yeah, so House of Folk are just praying that Charlie calf, if it's possible, let us be eliminated. So House of Folk wants to be eliminated. I think that's what they'll get on Sunday. Calf, so can, can they, you score them six, you see it will spare you all. Yeah, they'll be motivated. Imagine. <laughs> when I, I heard them say the big what is this? Charlie? Nathan, is just it, learn for me yeah, before we go. On, on Thursday, he said the team is 80% ready. Then, <laughs> be, and and the then, reporter has a, then, then the rest of the 20. <laughs> Two days to the match, you say the team is 80, 80, 80 we are 80% ready. He so said, he said by, by Friday, tomorrow, by, ah, he said by said Friday, by Friday, he said by Friday, 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 Friday vibes. We are waiting. See, our clubs, eh, they like to do all these funny, funny things. And it's always counterproductive, right? You've sacked Boyd. I mean, I always say that Boyd is sacking. It's one of the most, one of the most mysterious decisions I've ever seen. All kinds of funny, a coach is at post. Right? And every team goes to a bad patch. Even when Hearts of Oak were fine, we had all kinds of comments. He won't take us anywhere. He, uh, 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 and all no, of that. How many times have you even played? Doctor, you want to come out you more. The voices yeah, are there. It's nobody's. We are quoting him. Yeah. Bodu doesn't know what he's doing. He's, he's and, not and a good think, coach. See, he's the point he can't is, do anything in Africa. Oklu can do something in Africa. I think for Hearts of Oak, they should see this. And... I, I, I kind of agree with Pichichi on the league bit. If, for example, the league were running, Hearts of Oak would have used this game as a way of like pro properly kickstarting their season because the season it was they were struggling, and now there's this. Whatever happens on Sunday, I don't I 
I don't think they'll qualify. If they do, great. But the point is, even if they make it through, the next stage yeah. is staring at them because you have all these teams who have dropped out of the Champions League mm. and they are hungry. I think Hearts of Oak need to get more serious with what they are doing. Define what it is they want to do. If a coach is coming in, give him the independence yeah. to work. If you feel you are better than him, like Chris suggested, on Sunday, strap on the shirt and let's go. Lewandowski, man, you are three. Let me get into my message box real quick. You are listening to Sports Panorama here on City TV. You had Coach Christopher Nimli, Evans Ofochu, Mansu Pichichi, Nathan Kwao, and uh, Daniel Krante in the studio. Let me get to a few uh, messages. Roasted Kakape from La Paz. Oh! Roasted Kakape says, I hope Coach will come to the roadshow on Sunday. And Danny, I'll be there at 11 a.m. Wow, quick. Club is done and dusted. Michael Kuhn from Spintex. Nathan, Klopp is dusted. Please, dusted. Bra Kobe from Kotoku says, add explosive winger Dr. Nyaho to ball playing Odote and prolific striker Akambi. This one says, I love it when coach mixes the gun with the brothel. Klopp isn't going anywhere. Um, interesting thoughts there. Um, Zalex Duin says, Liverpool win any day. Um... This one says the so-called Liverpool supporters who slam hearts and cotical management for often sacking non-performing coaches are same supporters who demand the sacking of Klopp. They approbate and reprobate. Klopp is going nowhere. Sim 2. Sack Nation. Sakumono Estate. Sim 2. Your salutation and everything be guy. But that's your Klopp opinion there. Yara. This is Williams from Lekki in Lagos. Oh, Charlie. Hey. Big shout-outs to my people in Lekki. Lekki. Yeah, yeah, he said, man, I connected my HD plus decoder to the main speaker. And now I'm marveled at the number of people standing by my mother's restaurant. Come and see restaurants. <laughs> listening to Sports Panorama. Guys, you are all amazing and I love listening to your show. Thank you. Now, you are gathering new audience in Lekki, Lagos. Oh, Lekki. Shout out Lekki. to Nathan. I love your data-driven analysis. Lekki. And the professor too. Though his local dialect gets me lost. <laughs> I'm locked onto City Sports. It's radio over TV on Friday night. The professor, they'll be like, it be the rabbi. <laughs> <laughs> No, Charlie, too much. Um, this one is from Santana from Choco. His greetings to you all. You can have all the better players in your team, but if the players don't have determination, a winning mentality or character, forget. That's what's going on in Accra Hearts of Folk right now. The players who are playing for Hearts of Folk now, if they win, they don't care. If they lose, they don't care. If they draw, they don't care. Um, this one here says, Greetings to my wonderful, brilliant, and superb sports crew hey, at City FM. Hey. <laughs> Believe it or not, there will be a miracle on Sunday at the Accra Sports Stadium uh, in favor of the once continental champions. Phobia never say die. Phobia masters. Pakushito from Dakoma. Okay. Um, <laughs> this way from Medina says Barcelona head Chelsea were in danger of dropping to the Europa League a week ago and decided to hijack it. Charlie, the Europa League where they go leave for United Me they win to right now. Everybody won't go to the Europa League. Some Charlie, why would they do this? We are welcoming everybody. Jesse Hunsby Odoy. From Kaswa says, brilliant explanation from council. I have never understood anything so easily. Big ups to all the guys in the oh. studio and shout outs to the champ no shout outs to champion midfielder Odote. <laughs> I feel like Odote get fans today. Oh. Council, more lie. Oh, Charlie. There'll be more lie for talk. Ah, council, be... there'll be more lie. More. Yeah, say be guy. Yeah. Uh -huh. say no lie. Me say no. Uh -huh. okay. yeah, Name is Mickey Marsh from Wa. Says, Sports Panorama is such a lovely show. Oh, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> He says that he says, ask now to event image victors over Leeds on Sunday. But guys, honestly, I think if Liverpool is able to get a win over City, then Arsenal go win the league. Mm. Okay. This one is okay. Gobet 352 formation. Beans three cities. Coco five cities. Kosua two cities. Uh. Ahmed from Abetifi in Quill. Okay. Let's talk about Kelly and Mbappe. He's been saying some interesting things. The last quote I saw from Mbappe says that he says for now. I don't know what the future holds. I have a World Cup to attend. Yeah. When I come back, we will see what Charlie, he happens. Charlie, somewhere. Nobody knows his nonsense. Charlie, Mbappe says this week... I mean, there's been a lot flying around in French media. He says, first of all, that he doesn't like playing as a number nine. But what bre why am I number nine? Pivot, I want to be involved in the game. There are those who say that he says that he's not happy with the transfer business PSG yeah, yeah. have done this campaign. He says they made promises. He says they have lied, yeah, he says to him. lied to him. They made promises he to bring in certain players, and they have not brought in those players. So, Omo Dadano, 
right? All of a sudden, Liverpool interest, Real Madrid interest. But the truth is that I don't think anybody can pay those wages. So, what's going on? Let me start with you, Susu, and I'll go to Daniel. What's going on with Kylian Mbappe? I mean, from your own assessment of things from the outside, what do you think is going on with the young man? Well, apparently, he said that they promised him that he would be playing with Lewandowski, Bernardo Silva, and Malian Skriniar by the end of the transfer window. And none of them came. So he says the defense is not good enough. That he doesn't like the defense. He wants Skriniar. He wants Skriniar to come and anchor the defense. He said the defense is not good he enough. He of uh, Presnel Kimpembe. He oh. said like, like Kimpembe, the mistakes are too much. Ramos is too old, so they should go. He said he doesn't want to play with Neymar. Neymar's position, he wants to play. Then Lewandowski Left wing play. there, no? Yeah, uh-huh. then Lewandowski will play the number nine. Then he and Messi will be doing the damage behind. He said Neymar, <laughs> our relationship is going well. We're going to a Champions League final. Yeah. I, I want, and I want, for those I who don't Messi. know, when, the, when, when was this? Just recently, mm-hmm. I think Neymar was asked about his relationship. It with, was after the Ghana game. Good, after the Ghana-Brazil game. He was asked about his relationship with Mbappe. He says... Charlie, me call. Me call. Me call. Me call. He didn't answer the question. He says, I have other things to do, not here. So that just clearly tells there, you that there, there, there is a lot of there, tension between the there, two. There is. And, you know, I, I, I blame Mbappe because they were friends. And Mbappe went behind the back and said, as the new sporting director, I prefer... But he's the sporting said. director. So why doesn't he sell himself? <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, 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 himself? And there was a funny story in training where there was a session where... So they had to... So two players, you hold each other's hand... Yeah. And do a drill, oh, yeah. and they pet yeah. and pet and pet and Gautier pet. Mbappe and Neymar. Mbappe and Neymar. They didn't want to hold each other and then do the oh, drill. Charlie. <laughs> and I, I, I'm hearing also that I mean, there's literally factions in the PSG dressing yeah. room now. It's Team al- Mbappe versus it's, Team it's Neymar. Always, it's always been there, you see, and it was always the danger the Qataris were going to face when they started putting together this project of putting some of these big names into one team. Mm. And Thomas Tuchel, and every time I make the Thomas Tuchel statement or make that argument, people say, ah, it's an excuse. Listen, managing PSG's dressing room is is a problem. Thomas Tuchel will tell you stories of how he, as Tuchel, was not only coach. He was manager. He was counselor. He was therapist. He was a conflict engineer. He was marriage counselor. Marriage counselor. All kinds of ridiculous things was going on. Neymar shows up with 200 people in his entourage. Kylian Mbappe is there with his parents. Adrian Rabio. Adrian Rabio. He's there with his mother. His mother. mother. (laughs) And I heard a story of when Rabio was leaving PSG. When the deal broke that he was going to Juve, the workers were happy because now they didn't have to deal with Adrian Rabio's mother. It's a very complicated dressing room. And after many years, the people at PSG are beginning to realize that we need to run this like a football club. So you notice that they are not spending crazy money bringing in players. You notice that now the signings look ordinary, quote-unquote. It's because there's a sporting director. In, not in Mbappe, you get what I mean, but like, yeah. <laughs> but they are thinking through things now. But we have to be honest. The truth is that Qataris is, a, what's the word? It's a prestige it's a project. They want project. to be in Paris enjoying like yeah. winning a few trophies here and there. But, but now see, they are realizing that if you want to win the Champions League. Clean up their, their political uh-huh. reputation. Now they are realizing if you want to win the Champions League, you have to be a bit more serious about uh-huh. the football so now, side. Now they are reaching the next yes. step. So they now, have to kind of take those things Yes, into that's account. the serious. The seriousness is now where, is that, that's where they are. And they are trying to clean things out. So, am I surprised this is happening? Not completely. Because when Mbappe said he was staying, I always felt that at a point, he would start doing these funny, funny, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. I want to, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I think eventually he will get his exit. I don't know when. Unless it's a free transfer. Like you don't know unless it's a free transfer. <laughs> Maybe unless it's a free transfer. That's what I'm saying. I don't know when. How many years did he sign? It's three. two or three. I'm hearing it's three, but that is two years guaranteed, and the last one is a player play option. option. That's what I'm hearing. I'm so, not 100%. So he that, decides whether he stays up. Whether he wants to stay For the third year. Yeah. For the third year. So I'm not surprised at all. I think PSG will... I, I don't think they'll give it much attention. I don't think they'll give Gautier, it much attention. Gautier, the head coach, says that it is a rumor. That all the yeah, Mbappe see, stuff going see, on in the media is see, a rumor. What they don't want to do is to let it fester and all like give attention to it because... In their mind, they'll look at Neymar and Messi and say, these guys have a good relationship. So if these two guys lead the line for us, it could probably work. So I think they'll give it as much attention in terms of focusing on the football and allowing Neymar and Messi to do their thing. Because to be honest, Neymar has looked good. And I'm sure they want him to feel comfortable and focus more on the game so they can get to that prize. Because what they want is a Champions League. If they win one of that... Mm. But how do you win when one person gets and, a, a, a very good chance? He's, 
a wide open player and decides that See, he'll take the more difficult do, decision. I think that's where Galtier will have to end his salary. Let, let me let me hear Daniel's thoughts on this Mbappe matter. I'm feeling sorry for the boy. <laughs> sorry for the millionaire, the no, highest see, paid player in the world. The top teams in the world, they don't just look at your footballing abilities. These small, small things also add to it. Remember the statement that I Dom wouldn't Perez, even call this one small, but exactly. Look at the statement that Don Perez made when Mbappe decided to stay at PSG when the announcement was made. He said he had betrayed them. He had betrayed Real Madrid. It was like he had spat in the face of Real Madrid. And do you honestly think that after this two-year deal is over, Don Perez is going to look at him and tell him to sign for Real Madrid? He's not going. You see, not going to do Real that. Madrid see them. So it's an opportunity for <coughs> we you are the best yes, in the business. It's an opportunity for you to play for Real Madrid. You are not coming to add anything that we don't have. What are you coming to do at Real Madrid? Win a Champions League. What are you coming to do that we haven't done? We have plenty of titles. I was telling my everything. mom this when he first they walk him to the trophy room and tell him, "Look around. Have you, you see this? Have you it was something? here before. You haven't you even came touched on. this before. Exactly. It was here before you came. So on. look, he needs to calm down, and it's and it's sad that. Honestly, the way I look at it, if I'm Don Perez, if I'm the Liverpool board, mm-hmm. if I'm the big teams around the world, this guy is doing these things and his teammates are Messi and Neymar. Imagine. <laughs> then what will he do to others? Then what will he do to others? If he can look in the faces of Messi and he will tell to his carry his Ramos his at Marquinhos like, at Tom and tell, yes, and tell them they are not good enough. Say, hey, Trent, yeah. replace this guy. carry my boots to the pitch and stop then, his behavior. Then this guy is not serious. And you see, his his influence it has sunk into the it has seeped into the the France national team. It's the same mm-hmm. thing oh, yeah, he's yeah. doing over there. Recently, the same thing he's recently doing they there. congregated for a national team. He let the player revolt that they won't take team pictures mm-hmm. if they don't renegotiate their image, image rights. rights. They won't take. Oh, they won't they, take this one there. I'm I mean, on, I, I I'm, I'm on the side. I get your point. But the but French FA agreed that they'll renegotiate. They didn't, they didn't do, it. do it before they they reconquered. Ah. So, but the fact is, he started this Rebel thing leader before. Mbappe. Uh-huh. He started it before My and point he continued. Is, the, the young man needs to be careful because look, we've seen several examples like this. He's not the most talented player we've ever seen in this on this planet. We've seen players before. But we've seen players with this sort of behavior end up in a certain way. We've seen this several, several times. As for me, he's not my favorite player in the world. He's not my... And he will never be my favorite player. Oh, I'm don't. Like, oh, I've seen players. Oh, then you don't like Mbappe before. before. Me. <laughs> oh, I like a certain type. You see, your mentality needs to be at a certain level before I like you. This pampering and you are saying that a place that is comfortable. I don't like people like that. But look, he, he honestly needs to be careful because if he doesn't come out and clarify these things and make it look like he's a very good professional player, nobody, no serious team is going to go out there, especially the sort of wages that he's going to get. First of all, he's going to have to um, reduce his wages if he's going to Real Madrid or any other team apart from yep. PSG. Yep. Because if Manchester nobody, City nobody's going to pay you this, this kind of money. It's absolute nonsense. It's There's only, only one that team you... that can pay. Oh! Who is this? Ah, there's cash. <laughs> <laughs> you mean there's only one team? Ah. Man United but, but will not a, If they decide they will pay, they can pay. You mean there's cash? There's cash. It has never been in doubt. Oh, no. <laughs> so, the, long, long story short, the yeah. man, because you see, honestly speaking, even mm. at his age where he's reached, that's why associating yourself with good teams is very important. Sorry. If Paul Pogba hadn't carried him to win that World Cup, hey, boss. Him. Boss. But luckily for him, he has a World Cup. So that is good for him. But so, even so who carried him to the World Cup? Pogba carried him to win the World Cup. And but if you even watch... I if mean, you watch was Mbappe age, the best player, French player at the World Cup? If we are being honest, he wasn't. No, By he far, wasn't. he wasn't. He wasn't the third. He wasn't the fourth, sit, fifth, oh, sixth. Oh, I didn't watch the 28 World Cup. He wasn't the fourth best player. Look, <laughs> oh, Why did you this? I'm saying that, you see, the new rivalry we are even having in world football, it looks like it's Mbappe Haaland. Haaland is, oh, is, is clear. clear. He, he's doing his work. Haaland is clear. <clears throat> and he's doing his work and he's a very good professional. So these things, you see, it will get people behind him and it will get people to push him. The public opinion too, sometimes is necessary. But this Mbappe thing, honestly, I don't even know why we are spending time. This guy is not correct. Mbappe is going to go. He's going to go. <laughs> Let's get to the Premier League match week 11. Like I said, it's a road show. Big shout outs to the people at DSTV and DSTV Business. Big shout outs to Kelvin Kamasa and the DSTV Business team. Big shout outs to Mr. Alex Autry, CEO of DSTV or Multi Choice Ghana, if I should put it that way. And a big shout outs to the Hanisako Osu people as well, Patrick and all the crew. Let's get into the games. Coach, let me start with you. Man United. We have only one game to discuss. Oh no! Don't do that. Sure, you can't do that. We'll come back. Man United, Newcastle. 
you, you, and and don't don't forget that Newcastle have already taken points of Manchester City yeah, yeah, yeah. this season. Yeah, three, Saint Maxima has recovered and will feature in Sunday's game. He has a problem with his knee. Eh? Yeah, he's he's had some knee problems on and off, on and off. I'll but talk to Ten Hag. One of the tactical ploys to kick it quick. <laughs> <laughs> but coach, tactical tactically, I mean, you've seen United against. Uh, Omonia and Kosia, they, they've, <laughs> they've, they've struggled. Sorry, Ammonia, what was the name? Omonia and Nicosia. Sorry, Nicosia. You're in the play game. Why in the play against Onomatopia? This, 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 this is why Ronaldo didn't want to play Thursday night football. This is where Paul Go writes a letter to Timothy. Oh, <laughs> coach, yeah. you've watched United over time, over the last three, four game weeks. Is this a game they should be worried about? Genuinely, yes. <laughs> I like yes. your honesty. Yeah, genuinely, yes, because I think that uh, Newcastle have shown that they are indeed a very difficult team. Mm. I think of the nine games they've played, I think they've lost only a game. I stand to be correct, but I'm not sure they've lost more than two games. And if you look at the manner in which they've gone about their business, they show no fear, whether home or away. They've been ready, or they're always ready to battle. Mm-hmm. Once they have their best player back, Going forward, they will show no fear because they know that if United were to make the mistake and isolate Alex Maxima with Dalo, mm. that's going to, I don't think that may be a contest. So whoever plays as one of the centre back, that person will have to be very intelligent in trying to double up, mm. helping Dalo to deal with that situation. Because I don't want to see Lindelof. I think if Lindelof were to play against Newcastle oh. on Sunday, I used to like Lindelof. Like I he's have, a, I have never he, liked. He's a brainy Lindelof. player. He you only Lindelof. didn't like him because you thought he was soft. I don't like him. Me, like him when they me, like him. You see, I don't want to see him. I think Varane is fit, and he's ready to form that partnership with uh, Martinez. So Varane, in my view, should be introduced back into the team. Newcastle as a as a defensive block. They've shown that they can be very, very mean. So if United are going to really want to break them down, there has to be a proper intent. When I say proper intent, there has to be a sustained pressure Hmm. on that back four, back five to get them to crumble. Because I think if it is going to be um, intermittently in the game, they will deal with all that. Don't forget, they've got a very good goalkeeper now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Nick Pope, somebody who... Is really pushing to be England number one. Mm-hmm. I think if you the easier way to beat him is to keep the shot on the ground or on the mm-hmm. turf because of his height, it becomes very difficult to get him to come down when the shot is on the turf. And then players like Casemiro definitely will have to start the game because we saw what he's capable of doing mm-hmm. uh, when mm-hmm. he played against uh, Everton over the over, over the weekend <laughs> yesterday. I think he had close to. 80, yeah, he had about 80 minutes. 85 and, minutes. Yeah, and he was very about good. About 80 minutes. His ball winning ability, his distribution, his reading of the game, proper anticipation is good. I think one thing that United cannot afford to do is to do lots of turnover. And Bruno Fernandes should be spoken to. Mm. There are times where, you see, now you are playing with Ericsson. You are playing with what? Uh, uh, Casimiro and Co. You are playing with Anthony. Be patient in the passing of. Show a bit more patience. It's very mm-hmm. key. Don't rush it. Because against this Newcastle team, you can't do prop uh, turnovers just like that. And if if United can 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 understand the moment, when I say understand the moment, there are moments I expect them to put men behind the ball and defend as a team, and then quickly without delay, mm. Anthony will have to go back to what he showed against Everton. That there are times where he will have to make the run in behind the defenders, and because he's that sort of player. And he can isolate himself with that left full back, who likely may be other the former Aston Villa left back. Yeah. I've forgotten his name. Target. Target. Ta- yeah. Mark Target. Mark Target. Mark Target. Or the former Brighton left back, who is very. I pray he's the one, the slow one, so that he will be given some. Ben. Some. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Ben, so that he'll be given yeah. some proper lessons on how to defend by Anthony. And Rashford will have to be a bit clinical. Should Ronaldo start the game? Personally, I will not start him because of his age and the fact that the games are coming so thick and fast. He's already played two games already this week. Yeah. Sunday will be, I think we'll be asking him to play the third game. And I think that will be too much. So let's get Marco Rashford through the middle and then play with Jaden Sancho. But I'll also not be surprised if the man, if Tenga decides that 
Ronaldo should lead the attack. If he indeed is going to lead the attack, then they have to get him the chances very quick so that he puts them away. I don't know whether the Newcastle striker is fit. He's, he's, not. he's not. He's not. He's fit. ruled out. But I think Callum Wilson is very dangerous. Who? Callum Wilson. Wilson. He is very. One dangerous. chance he will, he will he, bang. He, he is. If for him, I'm, I'm not afraid because. I don't fear him that much. That is what I mean because very soon he will show the crowd he went sit down. <laughs> he's, he, he's, he's Chris, I'm, 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 I'm happy. I'm happy you mentioned Bruno Fernandez and and yeah. I thought last night, to be honest, I thought he had a very poor game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there were times where all he needed to do and was to not that. Position. I think for a player who plays in his position, and he sees himself as a ten or a creator, his technique, especially in crossing the ball, is dodgy. He tried. Like no, shooting. None of his crosses found anybody. Yeah. And I think that it's quite dangerous. If you've got a player like Ronaldo and your cross is not clearing the first man, then that's an issue. That's an issue. That is an issue. If you I cannot. Came and did the same thing. Yeah, so I don't know whether it was just a bad Maybe night. I don't know. Of the, of the whatever opening. it was. But I think Ten Hag needs to watch those things because if you've got players who you see as creators and their ability to pass over distance. It's supposed to be a key weapon. Mm. Get them to get those passes to be on target because that is what you need. For a player like Ronaldo, all he wants is a good cross that finds him. He'll and then do the he'll rest. do his part. But if your cross is hitting the first man, clearly your team is not going anywhere. Mm. Let's turn our attention to Liverpool, Manchester City. Ooh. That's where the juice is. Or not. Like I said, it's a road show. That's the highlight of the road show. You want to yeah. be in there for that game. Big game. Darwin Nunez scored the last time he played against Manchester City in the Community Shield. He scored in the last Champions League game he's played, played as well. Susu. Man City is not Rangers. No, nobody said, nobody's <laughs> mentioned Rangers. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't jump the gun. Relax. Quick thoughts on this game. I mean, is there any, is there any planet where Liverpool actually win this game? And if there is, what should that game plan be? Planet F. I keep telling you. Liverpool, the greatest team in the world that plays on the occasion. Give them a reason last, to play. Last, last season, we had it. They don't do Shelley. Last week was an occasion. Normally, when it's at Anfield, mm. you don't want to bet against them. Ah, okay. When it's at Anfield, no more. Mm. Man City is not born. Get at the show. You see, that team, oh no, what am my team in it? Mm. Liverpool was found by fishermen. fishermen. Mm. <laughs> they can go to the sea and evoke hey, their own chin. <laughs> ah, oh, is, that where we've, is that the direction yeah, we've taken? Look, Liverpool, uh, <laughs> when it is at that, when at Barcelona, I told them, the team will clear from their face after considering the fourth goal. <laughs> <laughs> now you know what I'm saying. You know. Hmm. The, see, the, the Liverpool in the past, this Liverpool in now I'm going to buy your own words. So, so quick thoughts on that. <laughs> No, like you said, what planets? Like Nathan said, on planet Earth, anything is possible. But mm. nine times out of ten, this weekend, is Man City all the way. I, I, even the injuries and all of those things, they just make me... Because Luis Diaz was the guy who was really giving them... In, but Firmino's been making things happen oh. for... In fact, he's, he's actually carried Liverpool in this, their bad spell. Oh, yeah, no, no. I mean, he's, uh -huh. he's playing very well. But, you know, Diaz was making things happen. He was a bit more... I mean, he's if, active. He's the one who I like mean, has Salah like fire. Is, if Salah is going to be doing his David Beckham and staying on the right touch line, yeah, he won't do anything. If he's going to do what he's been doing all of this season, look at Rangers. He went inside small six minutes. He gave her trick. So if he's going to stay on the right touch line, he won't do anything. Hmm. Then, with all due respect, Joe Gomez, he's supposed to be defensively better. But yep. I feel like the difference in what you get with Trent going for it and the improvement he gives on defense versus Trent. And the attacking, the loss in attacking output is a net negative. You are better off with trends there. Because at least with trends, maybe he can give you something going forward. He won't help you at the back. You mean Joe Gomez is average going forward and average defending no, as well? He's not, he's not even average going forward. He's below average. So, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot. And when you look at and then when you talk about the midfield, you don't know who's going to play. If we see Milner and Henderson there, it's a wrap. No, no, won't play, but Henderson will be there for sure. Oh god, why are we doing this? But why aren't people talking about Liverpool's defense? I understand we point fingers at Trent. Agreed. Yeah. But I think that back line in its entire But Van Dyke, but Van Dyke, Van Dyke, 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 Dyke is he trash. hasn't functioned no, well. He's been he's been I, trashed for a no, minute. No, me, that's why I I, 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 think, I said on Premier League preview earlier mm -hmm. that. For me, the trends thing is a bit overblown it because he, you know what he offers you going for it. As a yeah. coach, protect him defensively. Simple. And they've not protected him. So even though he's making all these mistakes, he's been exposed. It's true, he's been exposed. And then you keep but putting him in the same scenarios. Trent's problem 
is his own problem. Nobody can bail him out. Why do you say that? Ah, he's not reading the game where he's, he's been beating one on one. His positional sense what is so poor. Who help you on a 1v1 situation? <laughs> Got to know by Ajibo. Like Danny said on scorecard, he, 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 he yeah. put the ball in the chest, then he went to sleep, then the player came and took the ball and went and scored. But I'll give you an example. Even Cancelo, mm. one-on-one, on one, he's yeah. not very strong on one-on-ones, but how often do you see him getting, getting put Look, in one-on-one situation? Think, That's how I see it. In Kete, I sincerely mm. believe that Gomez, in fact, is a better do a better job against Man City than Trent at the, at the current moment. Mm. Because... So Gomez was actually a really look, good defender before he suffered yeah, the high Konati. Konati. I think may... may, may I miss, love Konati. His injuries, have, in, injuries have worried him. Yeah, miss, may solidify that Liverpool defence. And one thing Klopp should never think about doing is to repeat what he did against <laughs> Arsenal. Bench Fabinho. How? Are you serious? <laughs> How? Could he? So, look. Might be your most important go player. Back, go back to the 4 3 3. Back to the 4 3 3. Yeah, back to the 4 3 3. Under the circumstance. In that midfield, it has to be Fabinho, mm-hmm. it has to be Thiago, uh-huh. it has to be uh, Henderson, Henderson. Because that is the best they've got. Or the young boy, Javier Elliot. Javier. Elliot. And, and then uh, restrict uh, Thiago's movement a bit. That look, stay alongside for Fabinho a bit more. And then Salah should not be too wide off. You should mm. the diagonal. You should so look, it, it, right now, um, Luis Diaz is hurt. Salah can't come in again because it looks like he's going to play that Jota on the other side. And yes, Jota so will come in. Darwin Nunez is there, who is also there. Mm-hmm. There's uh, if Salah is also coming in, they will crowd the space. Yeah, they crowd the space. But I don't know. But if you if you leave Salah wide, there's a waste of him. That's that that what that I was going to say. Yeah, but you see, the of the three. Guys who are playing up top, he's the only guy who can also. Also, then don't that. start that with Nunes. Then start with Bobby Firmino, who understands the role better together so, with Mohamed So Jota, Salah. Firmino, Salah. Exactly. And leave Nunes on the and bench. Leave Nunes on the bench, and let's see how it goes. If it doesn't work, because switch look, things up. I don't think Nunes that charity game cannot be equated to what is going to happen on Sunday. But Firmino understands what it takes to play against Man City. Jota and he's the man in form. And then. Salah here. So go with okay. the tried and tested guys and let's Chris, see how Look, goes. City will win and City will win comfortably. I mean, yeah. Chris, I, I'm, I'm telling you. Chris, so so how, how, should, how should Liverpool handle the, the twin threat of Kevin De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva? Especially how those two find space see, to Bernardo bring those Silva's crosses. influence on the game would depend on how Fabinho and Thiago will play. I think like we saw last season, if Fabinho and Thiago were to come to the party, Bernardo Silva will have a, a bit more defensive responsibility Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. than Look. that than he would normally experience. Look, this and for uh, go ahead. This last last is this season we are talking yeah, about. It's Look, this season, let me, right? Let me tell you why I was scandalized on just Sunday. before you do. Let mm. me just say something. Mm-hmm. I don't think Thiago. Yeah. I don't think Fabinho. Mm-hmm. I don't think Fabinho Salah. They become bad players overnight. Mm. No. If there's any team in this league. At home, and this is Anfield, who is very capable of keeping Haaland and his team quiet, beating them on the day. That's Liverpool. I want to bet against Liverpool. Okay, that is true. Mm. That is very true. Land for us. But you see, they are the manager is now confused. <laughs> Klopp is confused, and let me tell you what scandalized me on Sunday. Put the Fabinho thing aside. It is Liverpool's approach to the game. Everybody knows this season. How do you beat Arsenal? You have the you have the Arsenal in your team to sit deep and counter. Liverpool went out and controlled possession. And you see, when you are controlling possession, you are passing the ball around. It can worry your ship. And whilst doing that, they had no DM. Arsenal picked the ball, clean attack. Every clean single goal. time. It was there, it was open, it was there. But Liverpool can't, can't but, they can't defend and counter to save their, their lives. They can't do no, it. No, they can. Have you, you ever can, seen it? If you played, if you played Fabinho, you could, you could go, you could, you, you I, I haven't you seen clubs team play like that in, they in could the do seven it. years he's been here. They could do it. They've done it. Sitting they've deep, done, sitting deep and countering. They, Liverpool can easily do it. They can easily do it. They have the guys in, in there. You see, and you would think the, with their pace, they have someone like Trent who can just hit the ball. That, that is the best way to beat Arsenal. So I was very surprised. And you see, they are coming up against a team like Man City. They will not dominate possession against Manchester City. Okay. And this Man City team is more dangerous than the Man City team from last season. This time, they have somebody in the middle, a target man, somebody who will occupy your centre-backs. And with the form that Van Dijk is in, 
Chabi. Oh, I don't see how. When like this physical battles is running from me to uh, on Sunday, he has to, he has to, he has to, he has to, he has to get to see me entirely. He could show up. If Konate starts, that's a, that's a yes. good one. Konate because is a big so guy as well. Like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, he's five. big. So he, he's also very powerful. Yep. So engage Haaland. Mm-hmm. And let Van Dijk go about anticipating well, stepping in when there's danger and all that. Look, it is absolutely going to be a beautiful game. I, again, Some I'm, I'm, game. I'm just looking out for how Liverpool respond to, to KDB, Bernardo Silva and Phil Foden. I say so because these three players have been very important to everything City have done this exactly. season. De Bruyne's ability to find Haaland from range, Phil Folding's newfound taste for goals. And we see him getting into very good positions these days. Foden is having a very I'm, underrated I've season. Sent, a I've very underrated Klopp, season. Uh, I message. Mm-hmm. You must start Jack Grealish. I want Grealish going at Trent Alexander. Trent will not play this Trent, game. Trent he's injured. Oh, he's injured. injured. Yeah. Joe Gomez, whoever is there. One on one. It's Foden who starts oh. too because Grealish. Yeah. So and that's Grealish the, this season. That's the word. Guys, so Grealish looks good. Roadshow is a roadshow weekend. So for those yeah. of you who are listening, it's the Honeysuckle Pub in Osu, not Laboni. Okay. Yep. Osu, I, I, J, Laboni. Yep. Osu, the one opposite the, the, one opposite the police uh, headquarters. Yes. Well, so okay. we'll be there from 12, 12 noon. Um, we'll be there from noon. So you come through, um, enjoy good music. The analysis will start from 12 30. And okay, we'll be Oh, and oh, please, oh, and please, oh, 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 please, oh, oh, and please, carry some mola in your wallet. Please. Please. And buy. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, honey, the honey, honey wings, eh? honey, circle. Honey, 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 honey circle. You see, honey and honey. Honey circle, honey wings. Honey circle might, mm-hmm. might have the, mm-hmm. best, the best food. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you, bring if, mola. If you circle the, the perimeter bring around here to you, bring your parties. Yeah. Contribute, uh, contribute yeah. small, small, and buy wings and drinks. Honey wings. Ah, Road show, honey circle pub, uh, sports bar and restaurant. Um, in collaboration with DSTV Business and the Honey Circle Pub, proudly sponsored by Betway and also Good Day Energy Drink. So you know what to do. Susu Gra, you have any shout outs? Oh no, it's not it's some small advice. Me, I'm doing it, so I want you to do it. What's going Open on? your Betway. Give Liverpool three goals. Uh-huh. Then go Man City win. They say Betway. open your bet way. Give Liverpool what? Three goals. And go to what? Man City win. Ah, don't say that we didn't do anything good for you. When you see the 5-0, I told you. Yes, sir. That's it from us here. Come to the road show at Honey Circle in Osu. Manchester United versus Newcastle is our first game. Then there's Liverpool versus Manchester City. I will be there. Nathan Kwa will be there. Daniel Crantin will be there. Should be lit. 